when the narcissist realizes what they lost. The last thing they want is for you to achieve great success after they're no longer with you. That would be their worst nightmare. After they left you in a bad position. After they refused to give you the rights and advantages that they gave to other people. After they ignored and excluded you. After they left you for dead. Because they thought it was all over for you. But then a few months later, you're standing again after the fall. You're bigger and badder than ever. You're making more money. You've got a new partner. That's the last thing they want to see. That would be their worst nightmare. Because up until that point they were hiding their phones. They were acting suspiciously. They were entertaining other prospects. That they thought were better than you. And then they left you out on the street. Because they thought you were done. They thought it was all over for you. And then they ran off to this new person that they just met after they had been with you for all of that time. And you invested everything you had in them. They ran off to someone they just met last week. Because they always think the grass is greener on the other side. They're always looking for the next shiny new toy. So they run off. Because they think you're going to disappear. They think you're not going to be anything. But then a few months later, you emerge from the ashes and they hear about you from someone or they find you on social media and they're left in a state of shock to see that you've become successful, to see that you found someone else. Because they thought you were done. They thought it was all over for you. And that is the ultimate revenge after they left you for dead without any help or support. And then they ran off to someone they just met. Someone who isn't doing half of the things you did for them. But they don't realize that until they see you move on without them. Until they see that you found someone else. I know you may be depressed and unhappy after they've left you. You're hurt. They were acting suspicious. They didn't come home anymore. They didn't want to have sex with you anymore. You knew something was wrong, but you didn't have enough evidence. They were just acting strange. 
they weren't the same person anymore. But that's really all of the evidence you need. Trust your own intuition. If you think they're cheating on you, they probably are. And they're probably about to leave you. And when they do that, you're going to be hurt because you invested everything you had into them. And it's not just your money. You invested your emotions. You invested your time. So when it's all over, you face an obstacle. You feel like you're unable to continue or make progress because of this hindrance. Especially when you see that they've moved on to someone else. But before they leave you, they already have a replacement for you. They're not going to leave you just so they can be alone. Although that is what they might tell you. And once they've left you, they're going to think you're done. They're going to think it's all over for you. But when you come back, it will shock them. Because success is the best revenge. And they will try to come back. But you cannot let them back in. Because they don't really care about you. If they did, they wouldn't have left you in the first place. They only care about your success. That's what they feel like they have lost. Which is why the last thing they want to see is you becoming successful. They want to see you fail. They want to see you do nothing with your life. So they can feel like they made the right decision. So they never have to regret it. Because they can't deal with regret. They can't deal with the thought of letting go of something that was good for them. But you can use that as your motivation to come back, to have a bigger, better life, to date better people. People that you get along with. People that will treat you better. And that will be their worst nightmare because then they have to live with that regret. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.